For the last 10,000 years, farmers have been asked to produce more food. Now we're at that one unique moment in time when they're being asked to produce better food, food that's better for our bodies and better for the planet. Science and food systems are perfectly linked. DNA is the core to everything that we grow. All of the types of traits that we breed for are locked there in the genome. We're just trying to unlock those pieces and combine them in a way that will be most beneficial to farmers, consumers, the environment. People love oats. It's a highly nutritious product for our consumer. It's a great rotating crop, and it drives a real sustainable food system. PepsiCo was interested in mapping the oat genome. We wanted to make sure that in the years to come, we would continue to innovate in the oat for the consumer and build the Quaker brand. It became pretty clear to us that Corteva is world leading when it comes to agro science and genomic sequencing. We were able to fully assemble a complete mapping of the genome due to the advancements in the sequencing technology and the tools that Corteva built specifically for crop genomics. The genomic information is really the key to unlocking the full crop potential. You can understand how climate change may impact a crop or how a crop may interact with a pest species or pathogen. You can understand more about nutritional value and the impact on human health. In order for technology to achieve scale, it needs to reach everybody, and so we need these tools to reach everybody as well. Both companies decided to go for an open source model. This has really democratized this information and allowed full access. I fundamentally believe that if you have highly capable partners working together with a common goal, sharing technology for the broader good of the people and the planet is the way forward.